Hi guys again, Alexandra here. Today we're having a look at one of the best and easiest ways for you to create highly visual branded invoices for your business, and that is using Canva. Whether you have the free version or the pro version, there is really not much of a difference because you can create any of the templates you might need for your invoice from scratch. All you have to do is sign up for Canva. You will find a link in the description below. Then go here in the search box and look for an invoice. Just select invoice and you will get a bunch of templates to choose from based on your liking. Maybe you want a simple invoice, an invoice with a logo, an image, just depending on your own liking. Now, if you have Canva Pro, you will get more templates to choose from, but even if you go for the free version, you can still create all of these from scratch. Let's say you are a freelance photographer offering photography services. You might want to go for this one. Once the editor is open in the left side of your screen, you will see a bunch of other options you can always choose from, whether you want a service invoice, a commercial invoice, or other types of invoices. The first thing you're going to do before you get to editing the design of the template is make sure the invoice will contain all of the necessary legal requirements, such as an invoice number, which we already have. I'm just going to zoom this in a bit from here so you can clearly see everything. I hope this is fine. Then you have the date. I'm also going to add in a due date. Let's say the 5th. I'm also going to change the year here. The 5th of February. Then make sure you have all of your client's data data related to your business and you can just simply put in here your info and also at the top for branding purposes of course you can always add a logo or just an icon and to do this you will go to upload and just click on upload an image or video or you can go to your elements and let's say you want a different photo icon uh, i'm just going to select this free option so I don't have to pay for the icons and maybe go for this one instead. Delete this one and place this one like so for a nice extra touch. Now from this example here you can see that there is also a section for the accountant but if you do the accounting on your own you can just replace this with something like thank you. Make it a bit bigger, maybe bolded, just for an extra personalized touch. Of course, you can also go on and change the picture here. Again, from the upload section or from photos, maybe since you are a photographer, you might want to add your own image. But if this is not the service you offer, you can always go on here and let's say you are a carpenter, you're going to look for woodwork. And instead of this one, maybe add in this image, you're just going to simply drag it there. And if you have the template in place, it's just very simple. Basically, the existing image will be automatically replaced by this one with all of its filters. Of course, you can also go here in the top left corner and just change the filters according to your own needs, make it more colorful, Add in some adjustments and of course change your logo again or the icon and that will be it. Now most templates come with this basic description price, quantity, amount and all of your tax and total related data. Now you can obviously simply edit this by just deleting some info you might not need. I recommend when you use a template you go for the ungroup option here and then just simply click on each one and delete or select multiple elements. Then of course you can play with all these and just move everything around. Just make sure at the end you have all of the data you need on the invoice. Now other templates also have a section with the payment method. So you can tell your clients exactly how you want to be paid. You can also add maybe a terms and conditions section or something very simple like this to remind people where they can get in touch with you. Now, one of the reasons you might want an invoice like this instead of a simple one like this, which even this is actually better than maybe just a black and white one, 
is because invoices that are highly branded will often be remembered by your clients. Who knows, maybe in the future, in two years time, when they need another service like yours, they will randomly come across an invoice like this with all of your contact data on it and just reach out to you again. Now, if you want to save this, you're going to go in the top right hand corner and click on download. And of course, from here, you can choose the exact format you want for your invoice. And honestly, this is all you have to do. Again, check that you have everything that's legally required on your invoice. Add in your elements from either uploading them or from the elements section. And you're good to go. You have a unique invoice that's not just a boring black and white one. And you've also got your branding in check. Now, if you liked this video, don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment below, like the video, and see you in the next tutorial. Have a wonderfully amazing day.